Hi guys, welcome back to Edgewood channel. So in this video, we will be analyzing the veterinary science question paper that is with a veterinary science stream in the ICR PG 2020. So there are total 120 questions from nearly 10 subjects. So these are the 10 subjects that is veterinary anatomy, veterinary gynecology, veterinary medicine, parasitology, pharmacology, pathology, wildlife and wildlife health management, veterinary microbiology, veterinary surgery and radiology and veterinary public health. So in the 2020 question paper, there were two questions from veterinary anatomy. So this is the code language. Veterinary anatomy, there were two questions. And in the gynecology section, there was 18 questions. In the medicine section, there was 14 questions. And for the parasitology, there were 20 questions. In the parasitology, there was 20 questions. In the pharmacology section, there were 14 questions. In the pathology section, there were 9. In the wildlife science, there was 0 questions. In the microbiology section, there were 16 questions. In the surgery and radiology, they have asked 23 questions. That is the greatest number of questions. The major share comes from the surgery and parasitology. In case of VPH, uh, they have asked only one question. And general questions, there were three. Like I couldn't classify them into the about 10 subjects. So they can either fit into VSR or VPA or VGO or VPP like that. So I have classified them as general questions. They may get fit into any subjects according to the vision of other people. So this total gets into 120. So I have added some tips. That is you should have to study according to the weightage. That you should have to focus more on the parasitology and the final year portions. That is the medicine, surgery and the gynecology. So you should have to give more focus on these subjects and pharmacology along with the pathology. So revise. You have to study. You have to revise. You have to revise and you have to study. Make short notes. Make it a habit because making short notes uh, will actually help us to clear the more exams. More, more and more data will be stored in our brain in a very simple manner. So you have to make shortcut codes and mnemonics such that uh, you will be very easy to remember all those classifications and all. Like I have added many mnemonics video for the classification of drugs in the case of pharmacology. Now you have to practice questions. You have to buy the MCQ books and you have to practice questions. So you have to read the standard books. So thank you guys.